me ask you about how concerned some businesses are in Germany about the euro moving in a six month time frame from the lows of 103 to 111 today and some calls for 130 number on euro dollar. Do you think that is a bit of a headwind for some of those German exporters? Overall, the euro is undervalued for the German economy. Of course, uh, you know, this revaluation will um, be a slight headwind, but generally, um, the, the euro uh, exchange rate is too low for the German economy. Uh, the German exporters are mostly active in areas where price competition isn't key, so they have room for pricing. Um, so I don't think the stronger euro is a concern. This might become a concern if the if uh, uh, you know the the U.S. dollar declined more, but uh, the Fed is increasing interest rates, so it doesn't look like the dollar will be a lot weaker. Clemens, just just to wrap up here, um, slightly out of your wheelhouse, but there are always uh, political risks at the moment for any economy. Uh, Donald Trump, of course, said the Germans are bad, really bad. And he continues to complain about what he sees as uh, an unequal trade relationship. Do you have any concerns about potential grey swans coming, in the dire coming from the direction of North America and Donald Trump? Uh, I, th I think it is important to, to remember that. There may be surprises coming and negative surprises. I don't think they will be coming from the U.S. My impression is that there is an awareness in the U.S. that, you know, anything like trade sanctions towards Europe, uh, you know, will do harm to the U.S. But we should remind ourselves that there are other risks. You know, there is the situation in China, the high, in high and increasing level of debt. There is the situation in the Middle East, uh, if there is a conflict uh, in the Middle East around Qatar, for instance, that would have an impact on the oil price and that might change things. So we live in uh, times of very high uncertainty. We don't know what happens. Uh, another risk, I guess, uh, for Europe in that case is the economic development of Italy and the elections that will come. Uh, so nothing is certain, but uh, you know, currently things aren't looking so bleak.